Here's the reality. Common sense is not very common anymore. <laughs> Guess what? Some of my videos aren't going to be all 100% geared towards sneakers. A lot of them will be geared towards budgeting, but we're just going to get into it, keep this short, keep this sweet. Just like the title says, you know, common sense isn't very common, and when it comes to the way finances work, I kind of think of it like this. What does it really gain you to splurge and get a ton of kicks whatever weekend they may release like all-star weekend And then you're stressing about all of these other finan financial obligations that you've already committed to and you knew that you needed to meet no matter what What does that serve you? Absolutely nothing. So I think we need to get down to business we need to make sure that we are always putting business above pleasure no matter what now this is something extremely important that my parents taught me and i think a lot of parents try to at least teach you or teach their kids period and that's you handle business first and then you get to go have fun now if you're old like me or at least i feel like i'm old at the age that i am your parents just say do your homework do what you need to do first do your chores take care of business first and then you get to go outside and play kids don't go outside and play right because they're too busy worried about you know like not being able to hear you because you sound broke if you don't have airpods that's kind of how this generation works now the young ones but take care of business first and then worry about pleasure that is what you have to do when it comes to money now in my ebook first off i'm not trying to sell you anything it is free my ebook is 100 percent free it is about budgeting and i coined a term called set budgeting so uh, the set part comes after you do what's considered like the first four so the first four things you need to worry about in your budget first off and I'll try to scoot over so I can put them up here you know it's gonna be the roof over your head you need to make sure that your rent or your mortgage is taken care of you need to make sure utilities are taken care of right now it's like nine degrees outside probably feels like negative where I am so you need to make sure that you are taking care of utilities heat gas water all of that you need to make sure that you have food on your table you gotta eat right we all got to eat and then you need to make sure that you're taking care of your vehicle or whatever means of transportation you have so if you need to pay for public transit if you need to pay for an uber or, uh, you know make sure that your insurance is kept up to date and title and all this information that's related to your vehicle make sure you keep that up so that's what's considered the first four or at least that's what i consider it now when you get to the set part of budgeting the set part stands for saving and then making extra debt payments because a lot of us have debt i'm not i'm not exempt from that i have debt as well and then treating yourself and when you do these things when you take care of business first when it comes to the first four and then you take care of putting some money aside to save and pay off some extra debt you can treat yourself guilt free you shouldn't feel bad when you finally do go to get that pair of sneakers or you go to treat yourself to a spa day or you go on a like little mini vacation trip like whatever way that you treat yourself or a lot of us it is sneakers watching this or it could be clothes doesn't matter you just need to make sure that it's guilt free and you do that by making sure you've taken care of business before you take care of pleasure so hopefully uh, you guys are already doing that if you're not this is the perfect time you're in January you're in the start of the year just take a step back and look at how you're spending money now and think like am, am I doing the best that I can could I do a little better in terms of taking care of business first instead of pleasure could I maybe allocate a little bit more of my treating money that I treat myself with could I allocate that maybe more to saving a little bit more there's nothing wrong with upping your savings ratio or just making sure that you're taking care of other new responsibilities that have come into your life that happens as you go through uh, stages of life trust me and I just think that's what you have to keep in mind always I know with money it can get out of hand it can get away from you but you got to stay in control I got faith that you can stay in control and if you need some help on creating a budget once again my ebook is free all the information is down below all you got to do is email me and request a copy I get it out to you usually within like five minutes of you sending me an email it's a quick PDF it is only I think 42 pages maybe with like the footnotes it's 44 and it does even come with worksheets to be able to help you figure out how to create your own budget so you can you know print those out so hopefully you guys like this video like if you did like hit that like button comment down below uh, did you like the whole business over pleasures is something that you wish you young kids understood like myself and you know anything else any any feedback you guys got please go ahead and let me know 
Thank you so much for tuning in. Hopefully you are subscribed and I hope you have an awesome day. Thank you. Peace.